Yo. Excuse me. I did not expect. Wow. Well, I ruined the intro. Okay, hold on. I'm... Let me run that back. Yo. What's up? It's Wednesday. Do I even have to tell you what time it is? Or do you already expect it? Hopefully you do. Because it's Transformers Prime time. Time to see Bulkhead in his recovery phase. It's time to see RC and Miko kindling their newfound mother daughter ship. It's time to see how they're going to fight back against all these Insecticon warriors. The Autobots, that is. It's time to see how Wheeljack decides to contribute today. It's time to see whether the Autobots have come to fight or to play. If you are ready, let's friggin' do this. Last night's we last time we introduced ourselves to a formidable foe known as Shockwave. Let's see if he can pave the way for his name to be restored. Removing after that, Bumblebee and replacing him with a monkey in the top hat. The tap dancing monkey strikes again. Okay. Bumblebee sightings on the World Wide Web are no laughing matter. Yes, they are. Seven. Yes, sir. Nine. What the frick? Why can't I just drive from now on? Because your legs will atrophy if you choose not to use them. Exactly. <sighs> Wait. What? You guys have muscles? What are they made of? The wires that... Okay. I guess the Autobots canonically have muscles because muscle loss is what atrophy Wait, is what's that it's a ship a cybertronian escape pod yep here in earth's atmosphere yep autobot or decepticon mm. possible to tell given the image resolution in any event this merits investigation exactly it'd be a trap and we're down one bot should we reach out to Wheeljack? Yes. I can hear you. <laughs> I don't care if Bulkhead isn't combat ready. After that revenge stunt he pulled with Miko, Wheeljack can stay rogue. An Autobot may be in distress. Ratchet, bring your medical kit. Mm-hmm. Okay, so they still have four. Oh gosh, distress is an understatement. This man literally formed a river with his blood. That singer's dead. I don't know why. I don't know what you brought the medikit for. He's freaking dead, no matter what. It is of Decepticon origin. Yes. And the con inside blew his way out. Oh, holy frick! This singer. What? They am. How are you gonna ambush me when I came to save your life? Also, how are you even? conscious enough to fire at me if the entire if your entire body is drained of any life fluid how is energon flowing through your veins right now if it's all in the dang forest mucking up the trees killing the killing the plants nah bruh i don't believe that sinker is has enough vitality to be shooting at people right now you should be dead and I mean that, and I, that, and I'm serious. Did you see all that? I know you saw all that for, bro, there was, there was so much, there was so much blood there. There was so much blood there. Look at this. How are you fine? Oh, these are the regular ones. Okay. Is it a trap? All those cons came out of one pod? No. Humans refer to the phenomenon as a clown car. It's a trap. It's definitely a trap. Ooh! Whoa! Dang! Dang! Okay, Ratchet. You better- What the frick, really? Dang, so that's... Incoming. Nah, he's fight. Not for you. Not for you. For them. Friendly? Yeah. Well...
for now, I guarantee this friendly is going to turn into an enemy at... I'll say about 1350. Yeah, I, I think that's when he's going to turn into an enemy, at 1350. We'll see, though. Somewhere around 13, 12 minutes. Oh! Oh, frick, they started a forest fire, you freaking idiots! Oh, no! Oh, blue flames! I'm surprised they didn't spread further, but they probably burnt all the ground that they that they were able to travel on. All the grass, I mean. Woo! Too hot for you, cons! Ha! <laughs> Friend of yours? Ha! <laughs> Bruh. I've never seen him before. Torching that energon leak. Pretty good plan, right? Mm -hmm. Except that it wasn't your plan. It was a random shot that almost fried us to a crisp. Uh. Worked out, didn't it? Thank you. Fair enough. Autobot. Fair enough. Your Valor is to be commended. I don't believe it. Mm -hmm. You're Optimus Prime. He's Optimus Prime. Mm -hmm. We know. Yes, yes, yes. What is your name, soldier? Smokescreen, sir. Smokescreen. Welcome to Earth, Smokescreen. That's the it's most. It's an honor to be here, especially. How the heck is your name Smokescreen if you are completely the opposite of inconspicuous? You were conspicuous as heck out there, but okay. Screen. That's it. That's an it's ironic an name. To be here, especially with you. Now what? It's not like we can just bring him back to base. Why not? It wouldn't be the first time an ally turned out to be a plant. True. I see that you received your training from Cybertron's elite guard. Mm -hmm. True enough. Though it wasn't much more than a boot camp by the time I joined. Mm. I never even got a proper graduation ceremony. Ah. There was a war going on. Hey, all I ever wanted was to be a soldier, serve the Autobot cause. But what I got was security detail at Iacon. Mm. The Hall of Records of all places, Optimus. Do you not find this highly suspicious? Uh. Smokescreen, what was your assignment inside the hall? Guarding Alpha Trion during what turned out to be the final days of the war. You served under the Master Archivist? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I wasn't thrilled at first, watching the back of an old bot instead of kicking con tailpipe. But... Sorry. But the Big A turned out to be a great teacher. Mm -hmm. And a true friend. I mean, he was the one who petitioned Halogen and the High Council to make you a prime. Oh, he's done his homework. Raphael, activate the ground bridge. He's done his homework. That's all you need to hear before inviting him to the party? If my former mentor shared this information, it is because he considered Smokescreen a trusted ally. 1350. It's, I guarantee it's going to be around somebody then. somebody new here since Wheeljack. What's your story, Smoke? Where'd you come from? How'd you get here? How many blasters you pack in? So these are the life forms we're supposed to protect? Mm-hmm. Are they all like this? Mm -mm. Fortunately not. But I too share Miko's fascination with how you came to arrive on Earth. Right, especially after all this. Decepticon escape pod. Still got trust issues, huh? Tough crowd. The main thrust what? of combat operations was at least 20 clicks from the Hall of Records. So things have been pretty quiet. But the situation went downhill fast. The cons launched a massive surge that wiped out the last line of defenses surrounding Iacon. Yeah, we know that. They were there. I was the only thing left to hold them back. And let me tell you, I was pumped. I mean, this was my chance to see real action for the first time. Excuse me. Prove myself. I keep burping. Jeez. Until everything went black. No. What, did they blow up the Kyle building? Took me prisoner and dumped me onto a transport ship. But I managed to give a guard the slip and hopped in an escape pod. Apparently, it was a long distance pod. Yeah. It knocked me into stasis. Next thing I knew, I'm hitting solid ground. Okay, thank God. I thought this man was about to say that he's just been chilling, conscious, inside of, inside of an escape pod for thousands of years. That sounds like hell. <laughs> 
but at least he was asleep. Hard. The Decepticon warship must have picked up the pod's beacon and guided it to Earth. Mm. Which would explain Smokescreen's welcoming committee. <laughs> Bet those cons were disappointed not to find one of their own inside. Smokescreen, do you know of Alpha Trion's fate after the fall of Iacon? He's dead. I wish I did, but that was the last I ever saw of him. Mm. That's it. My life story. Not exactly the glory I envisioned for myself. Until now. Hey. Are you here with Optimus Prime? I knew I was destined for great things. <laughs> I mean, now that you have help, how hard could it be to end this war? Harder than you think. Harder than you think. Take a good look, newbie. Pretty hard. This is how hard. Smokescreen, I would suggest that you take some time to become acclimated to your new surroundings. Yeah, he's gonna need a some tour training. Of the base would be an excellent start. Sure thing. <laughs> I mean, Jack here offers a very informative tour. Okay then. So Miko's gonna stay with a friend. This is what the humans call the information superhighway. Mm. A trillion gigabytes of data. None of it's useful. Dang. <laughs> what the frick? Oh, son. Oddly engrossing. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's having fun. What is this? <laughs> Ignorant life forms have no idea what they've uncovered. Mm hmm Red Energon. Oh no. If I can possess its power, not only will I be stronger, but also faster. But it will also probably take over your mind like the regular Energon does. And I don't think that you can afford to get any dumber, my buddy. <laughs> not gonna lie. Wait, what? Significantly faster. What do you mean by that? Aren't you already one of the one of the fastest people on your on your side? Phase shifter, spark extractor, immobilizer. This is where we store the Cybertronian relics we found buried on Earth. And talk about a small universe, because most of them came the from the Iacon Hall of Records. Mm-hmm. I remember these. Whoa! What kind of relic is she? That's a wreck. <laughs> the kind you don't want to mess with. He's got the hots for her. Hey, man, I feel that. Arachnid, uh... Actually, nah. I was gonna say she's got that thorax, but that's kind of creepy. Well, it's not... It's creepy because she's a spider. <laughs> but... But, she's also got eight legs. I promise I am not a furry. <laughs> If you wanted to replace me, you should have called Wheeljack. What? I could have lived with that. No one is replacing you, Bulkhead. For one thing, Smokescreen's too green. Yeah. Well, Bulk's as green as they get. What RC means is... He's new. Smokescreen still has a great deal to learn. Mm-hmm. And once you got him trained, then what? Huh? He's in, I'm a doorstop. Bulkhead... Your place with us is not in jeopardy. Yes. But there is no dispute that we have long required additional firepower. Mm -hmm. It is essential that our team learns to work with our new recruit, not against him. Better hope the hotshot's blasters are as big as his mouth. Oof. How hard can it be? Bulkhead's hey, mad. Everyone. Check this out. He's so mad. But don't tell me it's another bumblebee sighting. <laughs> oh my. Yep, Red Energon. Go get it. Red Energon. Go get it. Here? On Earth? Hmm. What's Red Energon? An extremely rare and volatile form of Energon. I'm sorry, but why the heck would you ask that? What do you mean, what is Red... It's Energon that's red. What do you mean, what, what is Red Energon? What's Red Energon? What? An extremely rare and volatile form of Energon. Refined into fuel, it provides the power of hyperspeed. We must oh. have Agent Fowler clear the dig site of all human presence. 
In the event, we are not the only ones who have discovered its location. Which is already true. Let's scramble up some con circuits. No, you're not allowed to go. Limited field experience. I believe further training is required before you are battle ready. Exactly. Optimus, with all due respect. Furthermore, we Autobots live on this planet as robots in disguise. You will need to obtain an Earth-based vehicle mode. In order to maintain a low profile, if that's possible for you. If you're talking wheels, bring them on. <laughs> All right, bet. So the red energon is mine, humans. For you are powerless in the face of the mighty star. There's nobody there. What? It's been cleared. Shut up. <laughs> you dummy. Where is it? It's gone. They already took it and left. What do you mean, where is it? Nope. How about that one? Eh, it's more ratchet speed, don't you think? Well, Cement truck? No. Yeah. If I were a Constructicon. Why the heck would I? Ew. Seriously? This is the best your planet has to offer? No. No, but this is Jasper. I'd feel for you. He's going to end up as a dang Lamborghini. <laughs> he wants to be a a high price car. He wants some some status. That BMW big mix. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not going to finish that. lower the thing. The humans must have been preparing to transfer the meteor to a cargo ship when they received his evacuation order. Then take it. Run along the home Autobots. That red energon has my name all over it. Oh gosh, she still got that thing? I thought I thought they blasted that off him. And I am more than willing to fight for it. What if we don't want to fight? What if we just send RC, who is the fastest and most agile person here, especially now that you've got that armor on that significantly that can, that significantly slows you down, and have basically no mobility at all inside of, to take that red energon? If RC runs over there right now, jumps up and takes that stupid car and takes that cargo and throws it to Optimus, what are you gonna do? You can't do anything because you can't move fast enough to get it back before they run away. I'm just saying. Secure the red energon and have Ratchet bridge it back to base. Exactly. Like those two are gonna outspeed you. There, you can't do anything about that. Look at that big bulky thing. How are you supposed to? How are you supposed to chase it? Oh, oh, jeez. Oh. <laughs> Forgotten our last encounter, Prime. He doesn't need to beat you. He needs to distract you long enough for them to take it. You idiots. Oh, hold on. Something wrong. Starscream has come for the red energon. And I fear he will not be deterred in his quest. Starscream? I heard stories about that stiletto healed creep back on Cybertron. What the fuck? <laughs> When Optimus requires backup, he will ask for it. Stiletto healed? Come on, I got my V-mode and everything. I'm souped up and ready to roll. Get, get, get. What part of further training did you not understand? <sighs> Jesus Christ. Stiletto healed. The you climb, the harder you fall. But you can't, you, you're you not going to be able to catch them, bro. Bumblebee, just run away. Just run away. Such slow learners. Just run away. Optimus, what is your status? Ratchet, they need me. I can do this. RC? Bumblebee? Did you hear what I said? I heard, and I'm ignoring you. <laughs> this may be your opportunity after all, Smoke Screw. Where the heck did he go? Where is Smokescreen? That's the one. You there! 
What in the name of the All Spark do you think you're doing? He's betraying you. Is it 1350 yet? Ah, oh, 16. Dang it. I oh, I undershot. It's 1650. So I was three minutes off. Time to unload some more dead weight. Dodge. Oh, frick. Bow. Wow. No! <laughs> what the frick? Somebody catch that. Somebody catch that. Oh, god dang it. He's got a piece of it now. Is Starscream actually going to become a threat? Watch your step, Autobots! <laughs> Optimus, no! Why would you let it go? Heck yeah, baby! Please help them. Wait. No one to find low profile for him. Oh wait. I forgot that he's betraying them. Yeah, he's not gonna help them at all. Oh, this is gonna get a lot harder. Like a lot harder, real quick. Holy frick. So the Autobots have a new recruit. Mm, nope. Not quite. Unfortunately. You must be Starscream. I thought you'd be taller. <sighs> this will not end well. At all. Smokescreen, stand down. You are no match for Starscream's Apex armor. Any last words, Smokescreen? Just four. Kiss your armor goodbye. Wait a second. Oh, I guess he is gonna help them out. He's gonna use the the because he actually knows how to use it. That's the thing. <laughs> he knows how to use these relics. I forgot about that. Yeah. Now that was a plan. <sighs> <sighs> so is is he not gonna betray them? The only one sporting a fancy wrist-mounted device. Think fast. Uh oh, what the frick? RC, get out the way! No. Oh. So he's just gonna take it and run? I mean, yeah, that's the smart thing to do, but still. God dang it, Starscream. <sighs> yeah! Yeah, take that! Like, screw all- screw whatever you're thinking right now. You are not- you did not fail. You actually succeeded. He has red energon, that's unfortunate, but you got the armor back, and they also have way more red energon than he does. So I'd say this is overall a win for you. Overall, this is a win. Told you I just needed to borrow it for a while. Doc here thought I was trying to steal your relics. Only until you explained your plan, which I then sanctioned. It's called protocol. Ratchet is correct. Standard procedure must be observed by every member of this team. However, I believe we must also commend Smokescreen. Yes. You have proven to be a quick study by choosing to play strategy above bravado. Mm. There's going to be no living with him now. <laughs> While this may lack the pageantry of a proper elite guard ceremony, I wish to welcome you to Team Prime. Hey! Okay, so dang, I was wrong. He didn't become a villain. I mean, well, I can admit when I've messed up. The newbie did all right. Yeah. Don't worry, Bulk. He's got nothing on you. 
Eh, uh, he has something on him right now. Seriously, once we get that leg of yours back in shape, old Smokey's gonna learn real quick who the top wrecking ball is around here. Bulkhead? Oh my. Bulkhead really has lost his confidence just because he can't move. Oh. Hey, man. Yeah, I, I, it's, it's similar to a pro athlete. When a pro athlete, who's done the same thing for their whole life just to get at the very top, has an injury and they can't play anymore, that's, that's what happens. They lose hope. They think they're useless. <sighs> Frick. Well, my friends... Now, I guess it looks like in the next episodes we're going to be learning a very important lesson. The most hard-fought and significant battles in our lives are going to be the ones that we fight with within our own heads. There are going to be a lot of things you're going to face out in the real world that are going to they're going to be painful, but there's nothing as painful as your own mind, especially not to you. And Bulkhead, yes, he's about to learn that because his mind's been on his side the whole time. He's never ever doubted himself until right until now kind of sucks but i don't want you guys to go making the same mistake thinking thinking that you're less than optimal because you are perfect just the way you are perfectly imperfect just like every human being in any case hope you have a great time hope you have a great week hope you have a great i hope you had a great january and I hope that you watch, that you enjoyed the video. Man, poor guy. All right, all right, all right. You are loved. You're appreciated. You're gonna do amazing things, regardless of injuries, if there are any. I'm out. Peace.